now that I'm actually enjoying the bogey food on the real bogey day, which is a day before Sankranti. Today, I have made kara bartha, sweet bartha, kadak sajji rote, chutney pudi, shinga pudi with yogurt, karat chutney, pappu and pongal. It is a big festival of two days with food and more food to be eaten tomorrow as well. And I'm really thankful for all the food that we get to eat. And now to digest easily to all that I have eaten, I have my very own favorite section at home with suparis that I love to eat. Sweet Bade Soap is my favorite and so is the Kesar Supari. Yes, I do wear saris on festival days straight after my shower to do the puja and to cook food for the festival. I really like it this way and I have been doing this for years now. Now, to make yellow bella for tomorrow, I keep all the things ready. I do a cup measurement of all the ingredients, starting with yellow, which is sesame seeds, also known as til. Once the pan is hot, I set it on a very low flame to dry roast the sesame seeds. I keep stirring it until the seeds turn really hot with the slightest touch. Make sure you have a big mixing bowl ready to transfer them straight away. Next, I dry roast 1 cup of red peanuts, stirring it occasionally every now and then until the skin is nicely roasted with a change in colour. I keep a muslin cloth ready to transfer the peanuts and allowing them to cool down faster by spreading them. In the meantime, I start chopping dry coconut with the help of Evige. Now, one of the main points is to get the fine squares and cubes of coconut and jaggery for yellow bella. But this is what I managed to get. I haven't dried up the coconut nor the jaggery in direct sunlight as we don't have much sunlight with winter on its peak but the taste of my yellow bella is always been very good. I cut them into small squares and measure up to get one cup. I add it into the same mixing bowl with yellow. With peanuts now cooled down, I fold up the muslin cloth and roll the rolling pin to separate the skin from peanuts, transferring it into the sieve for easy and quick separation of the peanuts from its skin leaving behind the mess just on the cloth, which is very easy to clean without a mess. I add the peanuts as well. I measure up one cup of darya dal, which is also called as putani or roasted chana dal. Now, making it all tasty with the main ingredient, which is jaggery. This is a super soft brown jaggery, which is very tasty too, which I just cut with the help of a knife, making it very easy and very fast process and now adding in soft jaggery may not give the proper right shape but the taste is excellent with it being fresh and soft than when it's completely dried up. So I just prefer it doing this way. Now all I have to do is to just combine. I'm adding in cake decorations which I have at home and adding in colors and the sweetness along with the taste with these sprinklers. My yellow bella for today is all ready and I am transferring it into the jars and keeping it ready. Now later in the evening using my Cricut machine, I create two templates. Um, maybe gold will look nice. Sir, gold to okay. On the Cricut app with just circles on one and get them cut using the machine. I have used gold vanai for the circles and then my Cricut Maker 3 gets the job done perfectly. And the Cricut set also has this mini gelatin cutter which helps to cut the large sheet from the section that I have used with just a swipe. I cut it further to small squares making it easy to work and transfer. Now using my favorite font with happy pongal wordings, we use black vanilla and get the wordings cut as well precisely. Kids are excited to help me today and are helping me out and they always enjoy using and seeing the cricket machine creating its magic. 
Now, with Sankranti, we have a tradition at home of giving 16 gifts to married women. It could be anything from coconut to plates to bowls or to small containers as well. Um, I have bought these cute little jars from IKEA that we are using as gifts. Peeling off the gold vinyl with the help of the tools and placing it onto the front face of the jar. This way we complete all the jars. Now to work on the fonts, rolling back the remaining vinyl to be used for the next time, I am further cutting it approximately into small sections and using the transfer tape to the same measurement. Peeling off the excess vinyl and then placing the transfer tape over the font to help lift easily and transfer it onto the jars. Peeling off the transfer tape now. With it being Friday and it's weekend, we all worked together at night and finishing off these jars to give away. It's always fun when we work together and my kids love to stay up late night. They do get hyper with the time ticking. This way we completed all the 16 jars. It's Sankranti today and in the morning, I place all these jars together in one tray and keeping it ready for the puja cooking another festive food for today. I had made Nimbu orange, Ragi barfi, Hirikai palle, Hirikai sippe chutney, Carrot talu, Puliogre, Nuki kai rasam, Plain rice and Majke menchin kai. We thoroughly enjoyed the festive food for today as well. Now for the puja I have placed these 16 giveaway gifts that we call as bagna and I have also got 16 oranges that I have placed in a basket. We worship and offer this first to God before giving it away to family and friends. I had my friends who visited me at home as a surprise, which really made us feel very good. Later in the evening, we all got ready at home to go around to all my friends' house who live close by to give away yellow bella and for which I am keeping all the things ready that I need to take. Flowers in a bowl, oranges in the basket, making it easy to carry a very small tray and a haldi kumkum pot that can be closed. And of course yellow bella that I add in every jar sharing it equally into 16 pots. So when we go to everyone's house in the small tray I place a jar with a flower and a fruit to give. All my friends really Sirko, loved the idea of happy Pongal wishes on the jar. We are ready to go now. I'm back home at night with all that I have been eating. I truly feel the need of having something light and definitely not a cooked breakfast. So making porridge that I like to soak in four tablespoons of oats overnight. I add in half a tablespoon of chia seeds a few raisins, a few pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, cinnamon powder, a tablespoon of yogurt, oat milk and a tablespoon of honey. Just to the consistency what one would prefer. The oats do soak in and will get slightly thicker in the morning. If you feel the need of adding in more milk or yogurt, you can do so. I place it in the refrigerator. The next morning, I am very happy with all that I have got in return from my friends. Shinga holge, gajar ka halwa and yellow that I so want to try. Isn't this a very cute pot? Definitely no cooking for today. A very relaxing day is what I have on mind. We ladies need not work hard every day in the kitchen. Certain days are just meant to be relaxing and doing just what you wish to do. Lots of fruits that we have after the festival and I love eating fruits given any time of the day. I am planning to make fresh orange juice with bits so peeling it off and making sure to keep the white string which is the pith on the oranges and this string has lots of calcium, fiber and vitamin C making it perfect to blend into the juice. These oranges do not have a pip in them and that's why I have added in straight away. 
adding in a teaspoon of brown sugar and water. I shall blend it later when I'm ready to drink. One peach that I cut in circles and the remaining around the pip into small bits. Keeping my breakfast bowl very interesting. My very favorite passion fruit. Banana slices. Very attractive bowl of food worthy of pin interest that anyone can create at home. And give me one reason why we should only work of making a food platter interesting, attractive only when we have guests at home. We ladies should prioritize ourselves serving the best looking dish. A few sultanas and buttery pecans. Orange juice can turn bitter if left for long time. So it's important to have it straight away. Whizzing it just a few times as I want the pulpiness of the orange and that's how I enjoy it. But if you feel like blending it further then you can do so. A beautiful healthy loaded with goodness breakfast in a bowl. Just what one would love to eat after two days of festive food. After a very relaxing breakfast I set out for a walk. Watched my favorite series on Netflix. Had a very relaxing day. Later in the afternoon for my lunch, with the veggies that I had at home, a carrot that I have crinkled cut, a few slices of gorgets, onion slices, one tomato and spring onions. I use my grill pan that I bought from IKEA and I add in coconut oil. And I have layered up all the veggies next to each other. You can use any vegetables that you want or you have at home. I'm also using frozen peas and frozen corn. I sorted the vegetables, keeping my lunchtime healthy, fresh and interesting without a lot of cooking and a lot of effort. When the tomatoes are slightly done, I take them out adding in salt and red chilli flakes onto the courgettes. These deep plate bowls are from IKEA. Sauteed onions, peas and corn, courgette slices, sauteed carrot slices. Now I have a crumpet at home that I don't mind eating for lunch. I layer up some spread onto both the sides and grill. I have leftover rice from yesterday that I am using and uh, when the rice, when it's stirred onto the same pan of sautéed vegetables, adds in great flavour and taste. You should try to fall in love with the grilled hot buttery crumpets. They taste fabulous when eaten with pickle. Adding in very little of ghee and very little of shinga pudding, giving our Indian delicacies and classic touch. Placing everything right next to each other. A spoon of yogurt and pickle. Finishing off with spring onions. I mean, who would think and say, looking at this dish now, it's damn easy to make. Trust me, this lunch in a bowl tasted fantastic. Fresh, healthy, cooked just in minutes and this is a dish that anyone can make, creating with what they have at home. Enjoy this food with little of everything in a bite. And as I say, we ladies need to pamper and look after ourselves, not just physically but mentally and with all that we eat during the day, making it fresh and eating it fresh. And serving yourself too with what is best. I really hope you enjoyed the festival with your family and friends and enjoyed watching this video of mine. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.